Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of Delvin Dash right here at Proficiency Bonus. My name is Michael, your most humble and merciful dungeon master for this evening. I want to throw out a couple quick shout outs and some thank yous to some of our uh, sponsors and partners here at Proficiency Bonus. I want to uh, quick shout outs to uh, Twitch, Streamlabs, Team MZ, Many Sided Dice, and our friends over at Little Dragon Corp for all their ongoing support. If you type in exclamation point Little Dragon in the chat, you can get a uh, quick link to their storefront where you can buy some awesome dice and other RPG related gear. And if you use the coupon code PROBONUS, you get 10% off of your order, which I think basically hacks off, hacks off most of the shipping costs for you. So it'll be a, a pretty good benefit to you to go ahead and check them out, man. They, they just released, they were, they've been sharing some really awesome dice on their Twitter account as well, too. So make sure you go and follow them on Twitter as well. Um, we're going to dive uh, into tonight's delve, delve and dash. Uh, we are down one player tonight. Ani was uh, feeling a little bit on, under the weather, so Tonum uh, will be on RP light tonight. Uh, <laughs> uh, he will still be there, but um, only when you guys, like, specifically ask <laughs> for his opinion. Um, so we're going to try to uh, keep him on the uh, the light side of, of, of things tonight get some music going and i apologize for the last couple of streams i know that the music has been really loud so if you're watching us on twitch tonight if you could let me know uh what the levels are like in our volumes uh when in comparison to the players and the music and things like that that would be really uh i'd, I'd really appreciate it because i can't really hear those things on that end of the stream so if you can uh, let me know in chat i would be grateful so you guys were all sitting by the fire discussing um this Jamna character, this gnome that's been all of a sudden just showing up since Daggerford, and um, really, uh, it's been really suspicious. Last time, Zin dumped a whole bowl of oatmeal uh, on top of her head, um, and didn't really uh, has hasn't really had a good vibe from her this since since seeing her. It's been a couple days, and. There's about two more nights, I believe is what we said, till Waterdeep, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And you guys know that Jamna wants... She, she's working for someone. You guys don't know who. She doesn't appear to be like she's on the same side as you guys. Um, and knows that, somehow. But you're still very suspicious of her, because she came on board and was very social with everybody, learning a little bit. Seems to be spying on this same caravan that you guys are watching. Uh, wants to get a closer look and told Tonum that she was planning on doing something pro possibly tonight. And you guys are all sitting around after dinner trying to discuss what to do about this. The adventure is yours, my friends. I'm just watching her. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> as I recollect... Uh, us three are still around dinner, mm -hmm. but um, Franklin is oh, watching doing... her, I believe. I think he's still there still, still. with you, but he's just, uh, I don't think he's gone to this whole, he, he was going to originally like sneak up on her when she was asleep, I believe was your plan. Yes, but she's not but, sleeping, so yeah. the next plan is when she starts going to do her spy thing, that's when I'm going to do my thing. Okay. But you are where she is and not having dinner with us right now. Just check that. Yeah, I know she's not having dinner with us. Frankly, no, are you, are you, are you currently us. around us? Like, can we oh, see you? Are you Yeah, gone? I would be I would be there because I don't want to be suspicious. There you go. Okay. I'm just, <laughs> okay. I'm just watching her and waiting because that stealth check was for later. <laughs> Was from right, when I right. started doing my thing. I also marked that his stealth check. <laughs> yeah, his stealth check was ridiculously high. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't even think she could have rolled to, to. I don't. Yeah, I don't think she could have even ever seen him sneaking up. Uh, well, while we're sitting there and we were having this conversation with Shard, there, um, it's come to my attention that we haven't actually told you what we've been doing, Shard. Um, and since you've heard our conversations on the subject, maybe it's time that we actually tell you that uh, we mainly took this job for 
guarding these caravans to keep an eye on the caravans in front of us. We um, suspect they're up to no good, and our employers have hired us to find out where they're going. Do I want to know who your employers are? Maybe not right now, um, but if you would wish to stick with us, that's information I could we could share with you. Hmm. But just so everybody was on the same page, uh, and that is why I am afraid of her, this individual going up and checking out the caravans, because they have been keeping a close eye on them. If she gets caught, I don't want her to give us away. And of course, I'm saying this on like a hushed tone to where hopefully no one else is overhearing us. So. They are watchful. She has no proof. If she we doesn't. Have done nothing. But still, I don't think these people, if she told them that, would. I have a feeling they would actually try and kill us. Yeah, I feel like rumors are enough in this situation, probably. Mm -hmm. And then that also might mean they might kill the whole caravan. All these people. You believe they are capable? Um, I don't know what they're capable of. That's the, that's my issue. I mean, they've already killed one person on this caravan for crossing them. To, yeah, just trying to steal a single item. We do not need more complications. That's what I was thinking. Enemies. So I was hoping maybe we could come up with a way of getting her to not do this tonight. Maybe waiting until we get to Waterdeep for her to do that. And then that way everybody would be separated anyways. What you are looking to find... I have a plan. I th yes, I think you mentioned this, Franklin, <laughs> but you didn't want to share. Do you want to share now, by chance? Maybe we can help with this plan. I point at the mushroom on my back. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, th again, that's, that's a nice, not a nice mushroom, but I, that doesn't explain your plan. <laughs> It makes a loud noise. Well, I think I think we're aware of that part. It's more of what you're going to do with the mushroom that we want to know. <laughs> <laughs> because, <clears throat> Franklin, we don't want her to get caught trying to snoop. That is that is the thing we're trying to forgo uh, happening here. I will use it to stop her from snooping. Hold on, can I try to talk to her first? I know every other time I've said this, I don't look at me like that. I, both of you looked uh -huh. at me. I know every time I've tried to do this before, it doesn't work out. Okay, but... <laughs> Franklin, Tonham, and Dusk, all just like, at the same time... <laughs> Look, did you reason? <laughs> listen, listen. I'm going to apologize. Ask a couple questions. Gauge her reactions to figure out if I can possibly ask her. I mean, she's probably going to say no and she's going to try to do something tonight anyway. But if I could get her to stop to water deep, I think that's a good idea. Yes. And I, I feel like the one she's most skeptic of is me right now so 
just if that is what you want to do, just try not to give her any more information that she doesn't need. Okay. Right. I mean, I feel like she knows everything already. She can read us that well. She doesn't know who we work for, but yeah, well, let's try and keep that a uh, you know. But I'm gonna ask who she works for. Okay. And she works. You could always you can always make up who we work for. You don't have to <clears throat> say the. Yeah, like we work for the Lord's Alliance. Sure. That sounds good. I don't even like those guys. All right, Jay, wait, uh, <laughs> uh, Zin, make a deception check against your friends. Uh, deception? Yes. Where is that in my list? I don't see it. Oh, plus zero. Ten. Ten. Um, I think everybody's probably passive insight is bigger than that. So yeah, my passive yeah. is 17. Yeah. Well, all of you should know he's, that we don't actually yeah, he, work for them he's, anyway. He's, yeah. he's, you're a little bit fearful about him lying in front of anybody else. <laughs> listen. Listen. Is there anything I can do to be less... Uh, I, people keep calling me like a jerk or something. Is there anything I can do to be less of a jerk? Other than like not pouring pots of stuff on people's heads. You know, Zen, I think that is a skill and a lesson that you would have to learn over quite some time. I don't think that's going to I don't think that's going to pick up in the next five minutes. All right. Well, I'm just going to walk over there. Then uh, nothing can hey, go wrong. Just, just just for our fans and people watching this uh, <laughs> just dusk, uh, you've been ha you've been with Zen for a very long time. Has he ever been mm -hmm. any different than the way he is? No. No. OK, so, yeah, he's always the same. OK. I'm just checking. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe when I was like younger, when I didn't talk yeah. much. I imagine. When I, was going I imagine my... this is like, is this isn't the first time you've asked us this, and he's like keeps saying the same thing over and over again. To you. It's like it's like that person for, that really wants to change, but then the next day they're like the exact same. <laughs> for for people who know Naruto, when I was younger, I was going to like that Sasuke young stage where he just didn't want to talk to anybody. You know. And... <laughs> Not past that. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wander up to her. Help. What was that, Shard? She wants our help. Well, yeah, that's. But I feel like you know the person that she's like most worried about not helping a lot or giving her up is me, um, because I personally hate her. Um, if if you if you're gonna go talk to her, maybe offer our help at Waterdeep. Then maybe that will keep her from doing it tonight. Smart. Even if we don't plan on helping at Waterdeep, just you know, even though we might. But do you have a plan for investigating these people? Um. After reaching Waterdeep, our our main goal is to find out where they're going. So hopefully we can stay out of sight in Waterdeep and follow them to wherever they're going. If they're leaving Waterdeep, then follow them further. I can be a tiny spider. That is true. He is very good at sneaking around. <laughs> can you stay a spider for an evening? Only for about four hours a day. And then I need to rest. We have little information. We don't know if anything in their cart is incriminating. That is very true. We have to make them nervous at some point. From make what I understand, themselves. From what I understand, they are carrying treasure. If am I, if I'm remembering correct? Yeah, it just look like a bunch of random treasure pieces. 
Um, Leosin told you. Are we they, told any? They they speculate it's a it's a mass of stolen goods from southern villages okay. and towns and farmlands and stuff like that. Uh, the the town that specifically got like ransacked that you guys knew from what Leosin gate was called the Greenfields. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll relay that information to Shard. Mm -hmm. uh, Riches do not greatly concern me. But if, like I said, if we can find out the, where this uh, cult of people is going, hopefully we can shut them down from doing that ever again to anybody else. So, what if the rest of the caravan reached Waterdeep first? What do you mean? And they didn't? If they're within a day's ride, something happens to their cart. They might let the others move on. They are very close to their destination. I mean, that could work, but again, that wouldn't show us where they're going. No. I will be honest. I do not like cities. I okay. do not want to follow them past Waterdeep. But the cities are so great, you don't have to sit on these stupid caravans all day long. <laughs> you have all the luxuries you could want. There are bathhouses, magic I shops. Then I, I feel like you and Shard are probably opposites of each other. Oh, definitely. If he doesn't like cities. Yeah. Wants to be on a caravan. <laughs> no, a caravan can come, can go. Ground is nice. There's ground in the cities. Yes. Not quite following. Covered in detritus of people. That's fair, I guess. They just make the ground prettier, I don't know. <laughs> Little ones running around. Yeah. You don't like children? Yeah, maybe. I don't. I don't really Some like children day, either. My own. Yeah. Other people's children. They're so annoying. Just too uh, shrill. Okay, I think we're getting off topic here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I was just, yeah. Oh god, kids. All right, I'm gonna. Hey, yeah, Dust, I'm gonna go. Dust, go ahead and take a point of DM's inspiration for okay. that. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go uh, talk to this lady now while you guys figure out a game plan. Sure. Good luck. Hey, do you remember what her name is? Um, Remna. Jamna. 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 Sorry. Jamna. I forgot. <laughs> it clicked. All right. <clears throat> I, I, I'm wandering I'm, over. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't want to break up that scene because that was such a good scene with you guys. <laughs> Uh, I think somebody no, needs think to do good. one of those animatics of that scene because I think it'd be great. Like you guys talking back and forth about hating children, then Dust just is in the middle of you two, like watching both of you. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, also, uh, Chris, uh, your is that your cat back there on your futon? Yes. Oh yeah, your cat totally gets DM's inspiration for just being super cute in the background during all that. <laughs> she blends in pretty well. I'm surprised you noticed her. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Zen, you're trotting over to the small fire where Jamna's sitting on a, a basically just she pulled up a log next to the, the fire, seems to be. Um, kind of what it looks like she's uh, cleaning uh, a dagger. Um, I'm about to get stabbed. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> no, it, she's, it looks like she's cleaning up the mess uh, from earlier during the day where she stuck it in oatmeal and all kinds of stuff. And, just trying oh, okay. to make sure the blade doesn't get any damage to it. So, looks like she's finished up dinner, and you start trotting over. Hey, uh, uh, Jamna. Uh, coming over to dump some more on my head. Unfortunately, I have none. Huh. Well, that's good. Yeah. What do you? I, I could. Could I talk to you in, like private? I guess we're kind of in private already, huh? How about we? How about we start with an apology? Well, that's what I was going to talk to you about. Really? Yes. 
Hmm. I'm waiting. I'm sorry that I dumped oatmeal on your head after you tricked us into thinking we were all going to die from eating oatmeal. Wait a second. That is not an apology. That's what happened. I'm apologizing for my half of it. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Make a persuasion check with, ad <laughs> with advantage. I really needed that advantage, but you know, it didn't work out anyways. Uh, I think I have a plus zero in persuasion. <laughs> yeah, six. Are you one of those types that never takes the blame for anything? Just push. No, no, I take the blame for a lot of stuff. My whole village died basically because I ran away. So, you know. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Sorry, I killed the vibes. Anyways, so I heard that you wanted to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see, you wanted to you guys, team yeah, up You guys had this moment of, oh, awkward. <laughs> After you said that to her. <laughs> yeah, I, I I wanted to kill her anger really quick. Um, well, you, you did a good job of it. <laughs> yeah, um, I heard you wanted to team up. Uh, we had a couple questions and then an, a uh, an idea about it. And they told me to come talk to you because, well, we didn't get off on the best start. And it would probably be a good idea for us to be okay if we're going to, like, team up, you know, so. Uh, true. I I'm listening. All ears. All right. Uh, the first question is we, wonder we were wondering, like, who you worked for. Like, what organization? I work for not an organization. I work for myself. Can I insight check that? You sure can. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20? Okay, this is going to matter. Let me see something here. Um... <laughs> Checking a character sheet just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> um, she's lying. Not being forced. Come on, if, if we're going to work together. She's a pretty good liar, but you, you saw through this one. She's, I'm, I'm pretty insightful. There's something about you that puts her on edge, and she's a little bit... She's worried that somebody else is sneaking up behind her with another big uh, bucket of oatmeal <laughs> <laughs> while you're talking to her. There's no oatmeal. It's <laughs> nighttime. <laughs> Come on, if we're going to work together, you need to be truthful. I mean, we could just walk away right now and you could be on your own or you could have people to work with you if you just tell the truth. So you're going to help me if I tell you who I work for? Well, uh, yeah. Well, well, uh, uh, well wanna... uh, yeah is not a yeah in my book. Well, that's how I talk, <laughs> so... <laughs> it's There's a lot of hesitation there in your voice. I hesitate with everything. You, Thinking you, is better than acting. You just did not hesitate when you responded back to me that time. Because I'm good at snappy replies. <laughs> it's kind of my motif. Very well. Um, uh, listen. Um, she looks towards you. There's a glimmer of the firelight kind of just dancing off the side of her face and things like that. And she's like... And then she holds up her hand. And she removes... Kind of like... it's. it's old biker gloves that have the fingers like cut off of them imagine those she removes a glove and glimmering in the uh the light of the fire is a ring on her finger and she's just spinning it like this she's like with her eyes wide and then a little wink i cannot tell you who i work for what is the what's the ring does the ring have a symbol make, on it make a perception check natural one <laughs> Oh, God. I'm so confused by her white eyes. She's, like, what the hell are you doing? She's spinning and she looks at a ring and she looks back at you. I cannot tell you. And she starts to hold it closer to your face. <laughs> I cannot tell you. Who what, I'm what, is, um, you can I see you really close? Yeah, as, as, as it gets the closer to your face, you can see um, there's a carving. Uh, it's actually like an embossed engraving in the ring that represents a flying snake. 
Oh God! Oh, <laughs> I just got a dirty taste in my mouth. That's gross. That's Jamie, not. All right. <clears throat> oh, okay. I, I see. Would Zen know what that means? I know Jamie knows what that means, but would Zen know what that means? I'm assuming because, like, I I'm assuming he would know most of the organizations in general because we've jumped from city to city yeah. doing jobs for different people. Yeah. And you've, you've heard... Probably not from them, though. You probably Yeah, probably not from them. You, but... you've, you've run into probably a couple of these guys on other caravans because they're, mm -hmm. they're hired out as mercenaries a lot to guard caravans and stuff. So you've probably seen this ring before. You've probably getting some vibes from them. Some of them weren't very trustworthy, but then some of them were pretty trustworthy. So it's like a, it's hit or miss, you know, on this, this particular group. <sighs> All right. Then she kind of like, Puts her glove on, looks around, making sure nobody uh, nobody heard anything or saw anything as she puts her gloves back on. And... <clears throat> hey, who wants to bet he gets slapped before he comes back? <laughs> That's a good chance of happening, so I'm not taking that bet. All right, so uh, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, thank you for sharing and being forthright with me, really means a lot, and I trust you a little bit more now, which is good, right? It is, um, it is good. Um, that begs, uh, begs to me to, uh, to ask the question of you. Uh, who are you working for? Uh, I'm assuming I've seen the symbols of all of the organizations. Uh, yeah, yeah. You want you... If you guys remember right, you guys have saw, you guys have seen the Harper's symbol, and you guys have also seen the Order of the Gauntlet symbol. Whenever you met at Uthar Froom in the, he was the kind of the guy right. who was like in charge of hiring you guys for this, uh, in the first place. Um, <clears throat> Would I know if any of the organizations are like okay with the Centaurum or have worked with them in the past? They they have all worked with them in the past. I mean, okay, the factions. I mean, the factions come together and they will work together uh, against threats that, I mean, that's what the factions are for. Like uh, this one, like this threat here. For instance, yeah, it, it, it is apparent that the factions are aware of something is going on. They're just, they don't have the intel. They don't, and you guys are part of the front lines with that intel. Okay. I'm just going to... Um... Uh, I also cannot say with who I work with and conjure a ring with the Lord's Alliance uh, or Order of the Gauntlet, sorry, uh, Gauntlet? ring. Okay. I'm going to conjure that on my finger and like hold it up to her face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, awesome. Yeah, she's like, she quickly like grabs your hand and like pulls it away from her face. I see, I see. Uh... <laughs> it's... Okay. <laughs> Very good. Um, yes. Um, so, so do you do you have what what what? I mean, do you do you know what is on these caravans? Do you know what is there? Um, from what we know, stolen goods. Stolen goods. Stolen goods like what? Uh, did we they crashed earlier, and dumped a bunch of stuff. There was like a gold chalice. Like metal things, like, just a bunch of stuff, really. Like pure gold. Well, I don't really know. Somebody tried to steal it, and they killed them. They killed them. How'd they kill them? In their sleep. I don't know. We don't really know. Were they stabbed? Were they stabbed? I can't remember. No, I don't. I don't. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they, they were poisoned. Were poisoned. Yeah, 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 they were poisoned. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Well, that's. Oh, they poisoned them. Huh. Well, that's also part of the reason I wanted to talk to you about this next part that we haven't gotten to yet. Um, our idea, hear this out, is to instead of sneak up on them and try to figure out what's happening tonight while we're out in the road and have basically no cover, no way to 
say, oh, somebody else was that doing that. You know, when we get to the city, we could do some recon there instead. Make a persuasion check. Un okay. <sighs> oh, <I> <laughs> My die, my die did that thing where it stops on one edge and then flips back, you know, two. <laughs> it was going to be a 12. Are you crazy? When we get into Waterdeep, you're talking the largest city in the north. They'll have, eye we're going to have eyes all over us. There's going to be no sneaking anything once we get to Waterdeep. And who knows? There could be, I don't know, hundreds more cultists just waiting for them at the city. That's a fair argument. That is a very fair argument. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have talked about this with everybody else around. Because <laughs> now you're making me nervous. Why don't we go meet with the rest of the group? That's probably a good idea. Okay. Um... All right. None of them are behind me currently with any buckets. No, it's it's nighttime. Why would we make oatmeal? Well, I was just, you know, it could be oatmeal. It could be soup. It could be... I, I... As long as you don't say there's bones that are going to kill us in our, you know, in like oh, 10 minutes was, in our soup. That was just to get you out of your complacency. <sighs> Gosh, have a little fun. I am having fun. That's why I poured the stuff on you. I tell you what. Because it was funny. I tell you what, that elf that elf friend of yours believed it. Did you see his face when I pulled it out of the oatmeal? I don't really believe he believed it, honestly. I think he was putting on a show. I've seen him <laughs> figure out other things that are way crazier than that, so. <sighs> all right, all right, whatever. Let's let's go over and talk to your friends. Okay. <laughs> you guys leave her fire and head back to the group. You guys all notice that he's walking over this seven. You're like seven foot tall, right? Like, yeah, this massively tall. Yeah, I'm long, exactly seven feet. And then this like two and a half foot tall gnome <laughs> female walking over. <laughs> um, you just kind of just see the silhouettes of their figures like walking towards you in the firelight. Uh, and then they approach. But they left the fire going, right? Yeah, they left the fire going over there. Yeah, it's a small fire. It's a Franklin small fire. gets up and puts out the fire. Franklin gets up and walks over to the other fire? <laughs> yeah, and puts it out. <laughs> How are you putting it out? Are you just kicking dirt over it? or? I'm, ju I'm just going to use my stick and sort of like swirl it into the dirt. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I'm going to, um, I'm going to like make like a, like a quick hand gesture without her seeing towards, uh, dusk. And like conjure a little piece of paper with the uh, order of the gauntlet symbol in his hand. Okay, so now Dusk has a piece just so, of paper. Just so he knows. The order of gauntlet in his hand. Okay, it's glowing okay. too, right? Yep. Yeah, a little bit. A glowing piece of paper. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's a piece of hand. paper. Like just, it, like palm like, palm like, size. Oh, like just like my... a, just like okay. a little like you know. Yeah, just yeah. a little piece of paper your with fortune, the symbol on it. Fortune cookie kind of deal, you know, a little yeah. piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Wait, what? What order was that? Order of the gauntlet. Order of the order gauntlet. Order of the gauntlet. Okay. <laughs> and you're supposed to automatically know what's going on by this little piece of paper that disappears in your hand. I mean, I'm, a, I'm a, What I'm assuming is that that's the one he told her that we were working for. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I said I was going to tell her that <laughs> we were working for somebody else. Are you, are you letting anyone else see this? I mean, I can't really do that with, uh, and if I can do it without her seeing, then sure. But if I can't do that, then no. Yeah, you can certainly try. I, I will try then, yes. Okay, um, go ahead and just, we'll call this, uh, we'll call this sleight of hand. Okay, cool. If you're I trying to quite good at those. It's kind of like if you're trying to cheat on a test in school. You're trying to <laughs> show 22. everybody your paper. 22. Nice. Let me see if, uh, ooh, this might matter. Mm. No, no, it, it, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. It might matter. <laughs> uh, it's close, but no cigar. Uh, yeah, you think you, you can pass it off. Um, okay. She actually comes up on you rather quickly, though, and you're kind of... And you take it and kind of hide it right, right uh, yeah, away. Yeah, as soon as I, um, I see that, I'll just, like, 
sh uh, quietly like just rip it so it takes and a point it of damage and disappears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just vanishes. So it's not yeah. there anymore. Uh, Franklin and uh, Tonum and Shard, you guys all saw the symbol of the gauntlet kind of held high like this. I think it has like a shield background or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, Franklin doesn't know what that means. <laughs> God, <I'm> shard. <laughs> okay. Right, weren't, weren't you with the uh, weren't you with the initial meeting with that Onthar Froom character from down in Baldur's Gate? No, I think he was outside. I think he went out into the garden oh, during that meeting. Yeah, you, yeah, I don't think Franklin was part of that meeting. Yeah, so he wouldn't have seen the logo. Uh, that's right i was out at the garden because <laughs> basically uthar had it right on his chest like really huge like he wears it proud so everybody was there you would have seen it um but yeah uh shard shard might not know what that means either uh, so i mean unless you think that it was something i reasonably would but i'm not sure that i'd have any reason to okay we'll go we'll go with that i like that uh, trust me, I'm gonna go with you guys over over top of what I say about that kind of stuff every time because I think it makes it more interesting. <laughs> well, so uh, she sits she sits down in between uh, dusk and shard. Uh, Good evening. Evening. Um. So your friend apologized. Um, well, he did the best that he could, I believe. That I believe. I'm sure he did. <laughs> I did great, guys. I did really good. <laughs> um, so he said something about uh, waiting till Waterdeep to help me. Um, That's what I would prefer, personally, mainly because it's easier to blend in with uh, the people, the crowds there, than it is. My thing, my worry is if we get caught, they kill us. But then also killed this whole caravan. Because people witnessed it. Hmm. That would be kind of bold, don't you think? My plan. I would not be surprised if they did that, though. Because I know if... Cart. Sabotage? How do you plan to sabotage their cart? I break a few things. They go in the morning. Suddenly it stops. Wait, the hold on. Up to you... water deep, rest of caravan goes on. We're not going to be able to do that, and there's one reason why. What's that? Our turtle has a mending problem. <laughs> um, He's actually very well known for fixing things very fast. So. He'll, he'll just fix it. <laughs> that's, very, that's very true. <laughs> I never really thought that was going to come back and bite us in the butt. <laughs> yeah. and the, the mending has finally come back around. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> I mean, I guess if it's a big enough break, then that might work. But yeah, we have how to like, do, completely how break. How do we deal. explain us staying behind when we're supposed to be watching these two caravans? Oh, we go on with the caravans, get paid. And then we jump them when they're coming back. How do we know they're not going to take a hard turn and not go to the city? Yeah, what if they're going somewhere else and they're just acting like they're going to the city? Oh, what if we come back and they're just gone? We would not have to go to Waterdeep. <laughs> It sounds then, like it sounds like Shard is deliberately trying anything he can to uh -huh. get out of going to Waterdeep. <laughs> what I'm, trying to do I'm, I'm starting to understand that. Yes, he's, he's going through every circumstance that he can possibly think of. Wait, okay, now let's start this plan. <laughs> or the, new plan. The only way I can all see. This. The all right, only way again. I can see this working is if we keep one or two people back to keep an eye on them. But then again, I I don't feel safe about doing that either. You know, to be a hundred percent honest, I was pretty keen to his plan. Um, Jamis, <laughs> With the killing one or the sabotage? Um, yeah, if we did things my organization's way, um, they were just going to slaughter this whole caravan in the first place. And then just take what was on board. But it was up to me. The, and hold I, on, hold on. And I, the I, whole Zentarum. caravan or just... It's it's Zentarum. That's it. It's Zentarum. And, and you're lucky I, I spoke up. No. You're lucky we I We are spoke. on the caravan. 
You would have all. At what died. point does Franklin come back <laughs> to start listening to this? <laughs> oh yeah, you're you're there, Franklin. So I was there for the killing of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, okay. apparently the first the first uh, her organization was their their higher ups were going to basically like from what you gather, uh, basically just wipe the whole caravan and take everything. But then she okay. tells you she spoke out and said, no, we're not going to do it that way. And so you guys got the idea that they sent her to basically scout it out. Okay. Like I said, the only way I see this not going bad is if we keep some people back just to keep an eye on the caravan while the others continue forward. But then if the other, if the people we leave back here watching them get found out, they're even in more trouble. That's risky. I mean, it's dangerous out there. To have just exactly. a few a few people just go on alone. That's That's why I say the best option is to let just let our travels go to Waterdeep and then we try and figure out some things once we're there. Like I said, hiding in crowds is a lot easier than hiding out here in the wilderness when they know everyone here. Can you find them in crowds? I am pretty good at uh, yes. moving around crowded cities. It's kind of our our thing. We 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 were hitman for a while, so we were just. Eh, I would not not, <laughs> oh, not, yes. not <laughs> hitman. I, I too am I... part of hitman. <laughs> <laughs> we did quite a bit of bounty hunting in cities. Bounty so we hunting. Sorry. Yes, <laughs> not hitman. We're not we're not assassins. Yeah. Would, we would just kill people. I don't, I don't understand why money. you keep getting those mixed up. Zen. <laughs> that don't that those are nothing alike. We kill people for money. <laughs> no, but <laughs> we don't have to kill them though. We can bring them back alive. Yeah, but sometimes we if kill they them. refuse to come back alive, then that's not our problem. Tona, yeah, but then we're a hitman. Bounty hunting. We're doing hitman. No, Tona, we're doing Tona's bounty been hunting. deep into a book this entire time. <laughs> And then during this whole conversation, just kind of slowly looks up from the book with a quizzical look on his face. And then goes back down into his book. Like... <laughs> <sighs> I guess it's not the same thing. I guess you're right. It's, it's, it's not. It's definitely not the same thing. So, again, that is, that is I think, our best opportunity to find out more about these people. She looks at all of you and is like, so you're professionals at following the, I, I don't, I, I feel like, what, uh, Shard, was it? Is that your name? It was Shard, mm, right? Yes. I remembered. Um, I, very valid points. What, do, you know, if they do get to the city and they break up, we're going to have to be on our toes. Fine, screw it. Let's just attack them right now. When are you not just... on your toes in this line of work? <laughs> Good point. Fine. We'll do it your way. I think I can keep track of them. What? If we seem to be moving on with the rest of Caravan. How do you intend to do this? With my eyes. <laughs> In the busy, crowded city streets of Waterdeep? No. No. On the road. If it's my plan. With your plan? Not like cities. Okay, wait. I, now, hold on. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. I, I'm, I'm just confused about wait, which plan. I mean, we've got... Hold on. Uh, uh, r real quick, Michael. Yeah. Earlier... When when the when their caravan crashed and people were like grabbing stuff to put it back on, yeah, did it seem like there was a big presence that were like rushing towards those people that were trying to help? Um, or... it looked like they were more headed for the materials to wrap it back up as quickly as they possibly could. So if somebody was to take something and run off into the forest. No, they were okay with people helping. It was when one when an object was found on another person that they had a problem with. Yeah, but if somebody grabbed something and just took off, would they probably react in the moment? 
most, from what you've witnessed so far, most likely they seem to be very protective of this, um, these objects and materials. Yes. All right, I have an idea. Okay. Somebody, somebody fast <laughs> and and powerful. I'm talking to the turtle right now. <laughs> I, I am both of these things. The turtle is fat. The tur the turtle can turn into like animals and just run really fast. <laughs> so, I mean, if you want to like risk getting shot, that's up to you. Just hear my plan real quick. Somebody sneaks onto the caravan. The turtle can turn into a spider and sneak onto the caravan, right? And then grabs something. I don't know if you could carry like a whole box. But maybe I will have the strength of a spider. I'm saying like uh, <laughs> you come out of being a spider so they can see you, right? You grab something, turn into like a jaguar and just take off, right? Part of their group is going to chase you because you have their stuff. That's going to leave the caravan a little bit less guarded. While the caravan is less guarded, we can do what we have to do to see what's in the caravan or take people out if we have to. It leaves a Jim, lot of room for error. Jimna slowly what? looks up at Shard and says, Have you ever seen a jaguar carrying a box? When he transforms, he absorbs things. Down by the bay. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> Where the watermelons grow. <laughs> Can I sing that? Is that <laughs> copyright play? We just got copyright play. Congratulations. <laughs> no, I think, I think that's like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I think that's fair game. I think anybody can sing that. I think it was too short. I think it has to be like a certain amount. <laughs> I think it's 15 <laughs> seconds. I think you're good. That was, okay. that was epic right there. <laughs> um... You hmm. underestimate our turtle friend. I, I believe in his cause capabilities. cause a more believable distraction. All I have to do is talk to the horses. But we don't want the caravans to run away. Hmm. Sabotage the bridle. The horse takes off. Now they have one horse. They have to chase it down, or they move slower. Either way, we win. Jim the size looks towards dusk. You know, the more we sit here and plan, the more I like yours the best. Thank um, you. Waterdeep is sounding great right now. Mm. How about we just scream, hey guys, we want to kill you and check what's on your cart. No. Because, again, I would like to keep this, you know, them not knowing it was us. I, like, possible. make eye contact with Dusk and wink at him to let him know I'm just messing around <laughs> right now to get her on plan with our idea. So, what is it you said uh, earlier that we were hitmen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot, okay. I suppose that is hitman way. <laughs> I think that that symbol you showed me means the hitmen. <laughs> <laughs> and Kijim picked up on that. <laughs> so good. Do I understand that's what he's doing? Um, make an intelligence check. I would also like to see if I understood what he was doing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I probably understood. 19. 17. 17? Um, kind of, you're getting the vibe after spending a few days with Shard now, you're getting the vibe like he's... You know, he, he struggles with these kind of circumstances and situations, and it, it's, he probably doesn't really know what you guys mean, and he's getting his, his wires crossed. Okay. <laughs> so, Shard, I understand that you don't want to go to the city, but I think if that's, if that's the case, that might be where we go separate ways at that point. But I would, I would love to have you uh, still join us because you seem like you are a capable individual and could be handy in a, a fight 
Yeah, but I mean, if you don't like cities, like, you know, it's you're going to have to kick the bucket sometime because I like cities and I want to go in them. So I will do what. So I they're do. the front caravan's horses. Where are they at right now? Um, They're just kind of resting uh, with the rest of the wagons and stuff from up front. Most of them are still yoked. Um, as kind of like it's, it's one of those things where it, it, it it's not so long of a journey from uh daggerford to Waterdeep, so they're not like they're not disconnecting the horses from the wagons quite as much they're just you can see there's some gusto with them this time they're it seems like they're trying to move the caravan along and get to where their destination is so i think that is our plan then we wait till Waterdeep. It's only a few more nights. One more after this. True. Sure. It's fine with me. I mean, we're just going to have to be really careful when we get to Waterdeep. I mean, there's going to be people all around. Uh, we cannot lose sight of this group. And it will be a lot easier to lose them. Is there some way we can tag them? I mean, I don't have any way, but... Uh... Hmm. Are these roads, are they flat, or are there, like, ditches on the side where it, like, comes up and then flattens out? Um, a little bit of both. Like, it depends on where you... You've, you've seen spaces where there was, like, little ravines, kind of, like, on each side, or little, little dips. Mm -hmm. um, and there are places where there's hills on the side, where it's just, like... You've got a little bit of a, a hill that kind of comes up from the road, and then there's parts where it's nice and flat. Um, you're not in a very mountainous region right now. Yeah. Um, I don't believe so. Let me double check. Yeah, it's it's pretty flat here in this this neck of woods. So there are no like dug ditches or anything. No. Like, it doesn't look like dug ditch, ditches right now. It's pretty flat right here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if we run into some, like, ditches or, like, downward hills or whatever, okay. we could potentially try to crash one of their carts off the side, make it tumble on its side, and then they'll be stuck. I mean, that's always an option. And it'll dump all of their stuff out, and we'll be able to see it without even having to look, like, go up and look. Do you want me to scout ahead tonight? That would, I mean, that would, that would work. This is just an option. I'm, I'm throwing things. I can... True. We could uh, do that, and it would fulfill what you wanted to do. True. I can grease I the road. I have another plan. I can turn into tiny spiders. <laughs> sneak up there tonight. And then morph into direwolf. From under the caravan. Knocking their wagon over and running away. If if we can knock over the wagon, I think that's the play that we need to go for. Okay, my only th issue with that is they've seen you. Or wait, have they seen him shapeshift? They did into a cheetah, right? They, with yeah, the deer. Yeah, yeah, the deer. Yeah, they saw him change form into a cheetah. so. And take barreling off into the forest after a golden uh, stag. <laughs> My only issue with that is, how did a dire wolf get underneath their their <laughs> caravan without them seeing? Who and got the dire wolf lift... on the caravan? <laughs> <laughs> Who brought the dog? I, th I think they might be able to piece it together, it being someone with the ability to change into an animal. And since they've seen you do that then they would know it was us. Or at least one of us. That'd be my we only issue with that plan. Too many plans. We do. <laughs> it's very. It's keep getting very difficult to That's keep good. track. I, I'm just throwing out ideas. Uh, I, I think if we can somehow either scare the, the horses while they're moving and like scare, scare them off to the side of the road. Maybe they break an actual wheel or something and it falls over. That could be something we could do to get a better look at what's inside. 
I can be a dire wolf and come running after them during the day. I that, could that could work. Um I, I've been practicing with some stuff that I have. I could um make some grease makes their wheels slippery. And if mm -hmm. we scare the horses while they're crossing over the grease, the cart might like slip <laughs> off of the rocks. True. That could work too. I can just ask the horses to run. That could also work. They may see me talking to them. That would be a problem. <laughs> but I've done it before. I I think um I, I think could using... also cast heat metal on their rotors so that it burns through their tongue their tire rods i had no idea how i was gonna word that <laughs> here, so I, I just like that just gonna say, <laughs> i'll fix their wagon yeah well that that could possibly work yeah i, I think these that's are actually all might be these better. are all legitimately good ideas it's just i, I have another idea <laughs> hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on zen before we add more to this pile <laughs> well i i just realized the way we could go with the dire wolf plan Tonum, well, I was Tonum thinking, looks at all of you and unrolls a scroll and is like i've been writing down all of your plans <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, he just starts going over and pointing to the writings i i actually like the heat metal idea if you think you can get it hot enough to where it would do that could work but i don't know if that would make it fall over I'm sure it would I'm sure it would horses were pulling it very fast burn its way through the wood it could either burn its way through the wood or the metal could get so hot that the metal itself could actually bend a little bit mm. and it could actually because well, heat metal yeah. deals 2d8 fire damage around oh yeah yeah it could definitely like so, it could definitely bend the axles of the actual wagon causing them to potentially break um so it's not just that but it's wood and fire that's well, probably yeah. has a vulnerability and on top of that i'm pretty sure energy damage ignores hardness unless that's not a thing in fifth edition but i actually don't know you actually don't know i don't, I don't think i don't think it's I would, a thing in fifth edition. i would probably go rule of cool on that one i mean yeah it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a good idea <laughs> yeah um but yeah it's definitely. a spell i've had prepared since i had second level spells and what makes it <laughs> what makes it more intriguing is um like if you break just like a wooden wheel um, they have spares and usually a wheel isn't that hard to replace. It just takes mm -hmm. a little bit of time. Um, an axle is a little bit more time consuming and it's a little bit more difficult to replace because basically you're taking out, like you have to, it's basically an axle and two wheels. Like you have to like take the wheel, all the wheels off, run the new axle in. And if the axles bent or broken in some way that they can't actually get it out of the cart, it makes it even harder. So, well, I could cover for Franklin. I'm realizing I would walk into our cart where I'm like covered up kind of turn invisible walk over to the forest line disguise self as Franklin and walk out of the forest line and I'm Franklin while he does the wolf thing while he does anything true because I can give him um, like a motive, where he is, where he was. You were all very magical people. <laughs> I'm naturally magical. So. But just an idea, I can, I can cover for Franklin, because you said they know that he could transform, but if, if he's over there, they're not going to think it's him. Well, so, if again, if our goal is to get so our friend here can get a look inside their cart, though, we need to make it somehow fall over or dump some items out like it did previously. So we need to make a big enough a commotion. Like or that. we could make it explode. <clears throat> can you do okay, that? Okay, sure. sure. Um, I mean, I'm sure we could make it explode some way. I don't know if that would be a good idea, though. I could make it explode, oh. but, you know, it probably won't go well. I can cast 
call lightning and I can make a lightning bolt strike it, strike it once every six seconds for ten minutes. Hey, and Jamna, Jamna looks at all of you. As, as, as a group, I just want to know, have you guys really discussed your identity? I mean, you're really sporadic. What is an it's a part identity? Of the charm. Oh. <laughs> that is our team name, and I point to the mushroom on his back. Sporadic. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. That is wonderful. <laughs> hey, um... Uh, go ahead, Chris. Take a point of DM's inspiration. <laughs> I've got so many titles for tonight's episode. It is ridiculous. <laughs> <clears throat> I've got sporadic. I've got the hitmen. <laughs> sporadic of the hitmen. <laughs> Oh gosh. I'm sorry I'm not really helping this conversation a lot. <laughs> okay. So I, I I really think we need to like focus and settle on a exact plan here. Here's my We're idea. Just going in circles at this point. We could mix together the heat metal plan and the direwolf plan. He could heat the metal, turn into a direwolf, flip the cart, I'll be him over here. Then the cart's flipped. We're destroying the axle. I cannot cast while I am in animal form. Well, they're going to see you under the card. <laughs> <laughs> but if I cast prior to turning, I can keep concentration. Can you do that from here? I need to be within 60 feet. Are in order to feet? heat the metal, I are we within find sixty a feet place of them? I mean, on the road? You by the cart? Yeah, will pass yeah. You within... guys are you guys are probably definitely within sixty feet of the of the last cart because remember you guys are the second cart behind. That's so all we need. So you guys are seventh in line. So you guys could get the fifth one if you want to get the the last one. I think we could do that. I think that flips the cart, destroys the axle, puts them out of commission for some time. I can protect you and say, hey, look, I'm Franklin over here. I'm not going to speak, obviously, but I'll like get down and pick some flowers or something. That's what I've seen you do before. And that takes care of everything, really. You want me to chase you as a dire wolf to make it convincing? That's a good idea, too. Probably. Probably a good idea to act like we're fighting off the wolf. Or you could heat the metal for a couple seconds and then run over as a dire wolf, bump the cart really hard, and that might make the force to snap the axle and then flip the cart. What else I could do is a heat metal on the one wagon, crawl as tiny spider to the next one, and dire wolf tip it. I think we just need to focus on one wagon. We don't need both wagons. Because if they lose one wagon, they're stopping. Franklin goes through all five of them. <laughs> also, we need to make sure it's not the one with the people in it. The one with the actual merchandise, not... Yeah, it seems like... I was in the one with the people in it, so I know which one yeah. that is. Yeah, it's the third one in line, yep. So they got, mm -hmm. like, two with merchandise, one that's more for people, and then two more with merchandise. Yeah, I think we need to do this flip plan. We just okay. got to go yes. for it. Sure, we can we can try that. We can attempt it. <laughs> just I, I would recommend everybody be ready for a fight if um this goes sideways, which I am assuming it's going to. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do this Are in the morning. Are we then? ready now or in the morning? In the morning when we're moving. Someone should convince okay. the other carts to keep going. If we wait until the next day, they can just go. And no, we need the carts for cover, I think. If they started... <sighs> but then the other the people would be in danger, cover, though, Zen. Until we tip their cart. We need them afterwards. I think we do this on the last morning before yes. we hit Waterdeep. Because then that yeah. way, like Shard says, we can just say, 
the rest of the carts can uh, go ahead without us and we will, you know, walk ahead a little bit and then we can double back I while they're trying to fix a wolf turtle mm -hmm. into the woods. Come back, carry him like I have killed him. Set him down and they will not expect you to attack if you need to. I don't... <clears throat> okay. I don't know if we're going to really attack them. Yeah, I think I think the plan is just knock over their stuff, see what they have, and keep going. Okay. If, if if we want to attack them, the the thing is we need to interrogate them. So that means we cannot kill them all. No, can't kill them all, but can kill a lot of them. Yes, just not all of them. This plan is changing drastically. <laughs> Jim, I will have to say. Jim does, like speaks up. She's like, "Yeah, I mean, I, I just want to get my eyes on the on the merchandise." Truthfully, I mean, right. That's all yeah. we're trying to do. As long, so as I think long flipping as, the cart as long as is going to be seen it, You guys successfully have helped me, and, and that's and that's all that matters to me. Yes, and then you can be on your way. Yeah. So if we flip the cart, wait, she sees the stuff. Wait, that's good. And then I can be on my way. To we doing whatever you have to do, we would help you, and your job would be complete. So you can yeah. go and report to your higher ups. Well, yeah. you know, you know, there's there's one little problem with that. Um, I, I want to know where it's going. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Um, so then, destroying the carts and killing them would not be a smart thing. Definitely not. No. I, yeah, I, flipping I, the cart is our best yeah. option. I think that's the plan we're going to yeah. go with. I, I, I don't want to lose these carts, but I definitely want to put my eyes on what they've got. I mean. Yeah. So if we, we dump everything killing. out. No. So we, we flip the card. We don't hurt out. them. Maybe we help them pick some stuff up again, like we did before. We, yeah. Help them flip their cart back over. And then we continue on, and then we wait for them to show up at Waterdeep. Yeah. So we can follow them where they go. That is less fun, but okay. I right. okay. You see, all of a sudden, Jamna gets. She sits upright, like, really quickly, then looks at all of you, and is like, Oh yeah, one of you is supposed to go hunting in the morning. Yes, we were. Yes. Yeah, we need to... Yeah, he's going to be showing me how to use a bow and arrow. Oh, yes. Because I'm still trying to, get, trying to figure still it trying out. Still trying to figure it out. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We need to get training on that arrow, and you can tell, like, she's not quite being herself and then you can see some people are kind of walking close by you walking behind uh as she's trying to just change the subject of the conversation so that nobody overhears what you guys are talking about <laughs> franklin actively looks confused at her because that's exactly not what we were talking about <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually like you see her uh kind of exhale a little bit and her body language changes back to that more relaxed that she was before Sorry about that. Don't want anybody in. It's cool. Uh, can't risk it. Yeah. All right, so we're going to flip the cart in the morning. Good talk. No. Let's get some rest. No, <laughs> no not in the morning. After this morning. Uh, well, when we uh, get close. Yeah. When we no, get close. No, we have one more night on the road. So. Oh, my God. I'm so tired of being <laughs> on this stupid caravan. <laughs> I hate it. The wheels just keep turning. And that's oh, what, that's what they were designed to do. You would hate it more. It's just, <laughs> and they never stops. About that, yes. It never stops. We've been on a caravan for like months straight by this point. <laughs> you guys have. Been, well, I think it was what, like two months? Two months on the caravan? Yeah. yeah. Something like that. It's a pretty long I want to be in a city. I'm so ready for ready water, for deep. water deep. Yeah. <laughs> so, who is going hunting in the morning? Nobody. We were covering for the fact that people were walking by. Jamna just but stands up, us. lets out a huge sigh, and says, I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. Good night. <laughs> and walks back to where her original fire was. And she, as, as she gets back there, she's like, she just puts up her arms like this. <laughs> Franklin wasn't hiding the fact that he put it out. <laughs> well, you, she didn't really notice. Like, she was walking back with Zinn at the time, and you just kind of, like, walked by, and it's, like, one of those things where you're just walking by, and she never looked back. <laughs> I, it seems you were kind of confused about the whole, like, hitman thing. That's not what that, that's not what the fist meant. The, oh. the fist meant the Order of the Gauntlet, because I told her that we worked for the Order of the Gauntlet. I don't know who they are. 
they're just an organization. All you need to know is I told her that we work for them. Did you also lie about Hitman? No, that was true. Okay. He, he just misunderstands what the what what we're, our job title is called. We are if bounty we kill hunters. them for money. We're Hitman. If we no, bring them back alive, we're bounty hunters. No. We've talked about what this, is then. symbol for uh, bounty hunter? There is no symbol there, for bounty there's hunter. There's no yet. Yeah, there is no symbol. Hmm. It's Baby Yoda. Baby <laughs> 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 Yoda. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm ready to like do my so thing. You guys are nice. Are you guys ready to? Are you guys ready? Basically, what we'll do is we will um. We will fast forward uh, the next day and the night, unless there was something. Does Jemna go to sleep? Uh, she does eventually. Yeah. Okay, I do the thing. I walk oh, over to her while she's sleeping, and I cut the mushroom off my shoulder. You just cut it and let it scream. Yeah, I just fucking. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, I just rip it off. <laughs> okay. So that it screams and wakes her up. Right. So you're basically holding it next to her face. Yep. I drop it and I walk away. This thing goes. It screams. Um, would you guys? Would you guys be asleep at this point? What time? Are we um, it, it depends. Yeah, cause the is, only I would have waited for hours. sure uh, that she was asleep. It would probably be probably about like one or two o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I'd probably be asleep. Yeah. Okay. You guys all open your eyes to this shrill of this mushroom, um, and she rolls a natural one on her saving throw. Uh, so she is absolutely <laughs> horrified and terrified by this sound, and she starts crying. And like as soon as I ripped she, it off, and, I wild shaped a tiny spider and walk away. Okay. <laughs> Who I am going to she turn just, to whoever is the closest to me as soon as I wake up, and just say, "I think someone is going with a different plan." <laughs> It is, it I is think very, this is completely is, unrelated. Yeah, it is very difficult to. I want. I don't want to say control, but control, Franklin. Sometimes. <laughs> That's why we said we're gonna have a mending issue. But. <laughs> and I think at that point, since that seems like a good humorous place to end tonight's episode on, an hour. Imagine planning what you're gonna do the next day. Planning. That's awesome. I'm writing down the plan. <laughs> yeah, right. Write down the plan. And honestly, though, I like it this way because uh, hopefully next week we'll have Ani back, and then uh, Tonum can be a more uh, integral part in this plan. So I kind of feel bad whenever somebody misses out on like the a plan like coming together and then seeing what happens whenever it's all said and done. So uh, fantastic, guys! That there was some really good role play in there tonight. It, uh, it was a lot of good things happened. So. That was awesome. Sometimes I like these planning sessions because it opens all the role play up to you guys and lets your characters really go back and forth. Um, it was great because she screwed us over with the oatmeal and now I made her cry. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> all right, guys. Well, um, we will be back next week here with Delvin Dash. Uh, so we will see how things go as the party decides to go forth with this plan to try to dump out some of this merchandise that these cultists are transporting north. So we will see uh, what happens on our next episode of Delvin Dash. Until then, don't forget to add your proficiency bonus and we will see you next time. Everybody have a good night. See you soon, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night.